Mel Gibson is trapped under ice. Forever young. When test pilot Mel Gibson learns of a cryogenic freezer, he asks to be put in because his missus is in a coma. Yes. Have you adhered strictly to your vow of celibacy? Yes, I have. Me too. I'm not surprised. Mine was by choice. Only to wake up 50 years in the future when Frodo bumps into the machine. Only for Mel Gibson to track him down through a jacket he left behind. Which you probably found while researching me. <sighs> what a cause you're in the uh, danger zone! <laughs> and those oh, were his last words, <laughs> I'm, right I'm before God. he bled to death on the rug. Then white nights for the mother, giving him a place to stay while his age catches up to him. Pretty sure there's a lot more to life than being really, really good looking. And I plan on finding out what that is. Thank you. Prompting him to track down the inventor's family, who gave him the journals for posterity. You're on the wrong side of 40, you're childless and alone. Somebody close to you said, one more flop and it's over. Somebody said they were close to me? Oof. Before he flies out to see Coma Granny, who agrees to marry him. Hey, uh, how's the adoption thing coming, buddy? Um, not too great. Well, at least you get to choose yours. I'm stuck with mine. Mm. Worth watching for Joe Morton. The war started, sir. It was forgotten. <laughs> so what you're telling me is that he was lost. McCormick was misplaced for 50 years. Yes, sir. That seems to be the case, sir. Inventory says the capsule was a water heater, sir. My God. I'm a stranger. Your mother's not going to let a stranger stay in the house. What a bit? The toothpaste is in the mirror, and I think there's a new toothbrush in there, too. The towels are under the sink. Now, would you get him a pillow, please?